Okay, hi everyone. So this is Sylvain. So today we're gonna cook a caribou roast. Let's do it. Okay, so here I'm having a nice uh, little roast of caribou, a very tender part. So we're gonna cook that and we're gonna cook that just to the perfect uh, cooking point inside, which will be 60 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna use a thermometer today for that. Uh, I'm gonna put you uh, down below a, a link uh, in a where to buy a good uh, thermometer like that, okay? So what are my ing ingredients today? I got some butter, two cups of butter, I'm sorry, two uh, tablespoons of butter. I got two pieces of garlic here. Also I got uh, two onions chopped finely, just like this, two onions. I got salt and pepper. Uh, also, I got some olive oil. At the end, I'm going to make a little sauce, and I'm going to use uh, again uh, one cup, uh, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour, and also one cup and a half of broth, beef broth. So first step now, I have a big frying pan like this one here. Uh, it can go in the oven because I'm going to cook it in the oven. First of all, we're going to put some oil, olive oil, about two tablespoons of olive oil. And when your frying pan is hot enough, it should be at uh, medium high temperature, okay? Not too, not too low. And you're going to wait a little bit, you're going to feel the warmth before you're going to start the roast, to cook the roast. The first part of it, we're going to cook the outside of the roast. We're going to put some coloration on it. So, so it's going to make the roast just, just nice and brown. Okay, first of all, I'm going to put some salt on it, so the seasoning, on each side. I'm going to put salt everywhere, all around like that, on the side. And the same thing with freshly ground pepper. I'm going to put some pepper on the side, on the other side. And now it's going to go in the pan. Okay. So you want to be sure when you're going to put the roast in the pan, it's going to start cooking right away. If it doesn't start to cook right away, it's not hot enough. So you need to have a warmer pan. It can be a medium high to high temperature. Here I'm going to use a fork just to turn it, it's going to be easier. It's nice to brown on this side with a nice crust. That's what I want. I don't want to cook it too much, just a little bit, just on the outside. But on each, uh, each side, depending to the piece, this one has Three sides, <laughs> the three side piece. After that, I'm going to cook it in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit. So my oven is already on at 375. That's going to help make a nice crust on the outside. And when it's going to cook in the oven, it's going to keep that crust and make it even more tastier. That's the part of meat that is very uh, tender, very delicate, so we have to be careful when we cook, we cook that. So I, got, I got nice coloration on each side now. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in the plate. <coughs> now I'm gonna turn down the heat to lower temperature because my frying pan is very hot. I'm gonna use the same frying pan, I'm gonna cook my onions. Just gonna cool it down a little bit. I don't want my butter to burn. I'm gonna put a bit of butter there. One tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna put right away my onion. I want to cook my onions for a few minutes. I'm gonna use a spoon.
So it should be medium temperature, maybe less than medium. I don't want to burn my onion. I just want to cook it a little bit to make them tender. And if you like to do the saute technique, well, it's like that. You just move like that and you can mix your onion very easily instead of using a spoon. Okay. I'm going to add some garlic. I use a garlic crusher. I think it's much more easier to and faster to cook, cook, cut the garlic. So just put some of the garlic here. Like that. Be careful not to burn the garlic. You just want to cook it, cook it a little bit. Okay. And that's it. One or two minutes, that's enough. And after that, I'm going to put my roast on top of it, just like that. And it's going to go in the oven. I'm going to start with 45 minutes. In 45 minutes, I'm going to come back and check the temperature. So I'm going to put the timer. Always use a timer because um, if we don't, you might forget. Just about 45 minutes. So I'm going to stop that. I'm gonna check my, te my temperature. Be careful not to burn yourself uh, on the end though, it's very hot. So I'm gonna check that. We got uh, 62, 62, okay. I can see some blood coming out, so it's just perfect. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take it out, just like that, okay. And I'm going to take uh, also, oh, I lost my spoon. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put my onions and garlic just beside, like that. Because I want to reuse that for the sauce after. Just like that. Okay. Put that back, back at max. Uh, max because I want the pan to become very hot. Okay, just to be careful, I'm going to keep my towel here. So it's going to remain, I'm not going to burn myself. I'm going to cover also my roast, my cagbo roast, with aluminium foil. So it's going to keep the roast warm. Just like that here. Okay. Just like that here. And it's going to stay at the right temperature in the aluminium foil. I'm going to put my butter in. A tablespoon of butter for my sauce. Just gonna know that. What we're gonna make this time it's a roux like we did the, in the other recipe with the bechamel so it's a mix of uh, flour and uh, butter to help the sauce to be thick enough. I can see some bubble coming on the butter. Start to cook. I'm going to add my flour, just like that. And I'm going to mix. Just like that. Cook the flour with the butter. And I'm going to cook that for one minute. You will need a whisk also to make your sauce. So now my butter is cooking. I'm gonna add my broth. And I'm gonna, here I'm gonna whip at the same time to be sure I won't have any lumps. So slowly I'm gonna add the, the broth, like that. And as soon as it starts to, be, to become more thick, I'm gonna add all the broth. mix to be sure I have no lamp and I want to bring that to boil I want to see bubble on top and I want to cook that for two three minutes okay so there's 
no more lump. As you can see, there are some juice coming out of the of the roast, and I'm gonna put all that in my sauce because it's all full of taste. Oh, it's getting thick enough. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Move it back here. Very important to check your seasoning at this point. Probably the sauce. Pretty good. I'm gonna add a bit of salt. That's to your taste at this uh, this point. And bit more pepper. Okay, that's it for the sauce. And now the roast. We're gonna check the roast. It's very, I think it's very good uh, when you do a roast like that, it's to make very thin slice. It tastes so good when it's thin. So we're just gonna check that. How thin it is. Oh. You can see a bit of blood coming out. Here it is. Beautiful piece. Perfectly cooked. And voila. So I'm gonna put the whole thing like that. Just like that. I'm gonna transfer these these slice of ketchup in the plate. Just like that to make a nice presentation. Doesn't need to be complicated, just something just nice like that to do. And I'll get a for a, a spoon. And I'm gonna serve that, make a nice presentation with a bit of the sauce. Serve on top of that. And you can add some potatoes and vegetable, whatever you want. And that's it. This is my caribou roast. Okay, that's it for me today. I hope you like uh, that video about uh, my caribou roast recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. So next time there will be a video coming up, you will be noticed. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, now I'm gonna taste it. He looks so good. He looks delicious. Hmm. This is good stuff.